Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, London Mines and Money 2017, and we are here on our last day, the third day. And with me here is now Altamira Gold and Michael Bennett, the CEO, wants to give an in, uh, insight into his terrific company. Michael, good morning. Good morning, Jochen. <laughs> Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time. And Altamira Gold, where are you located? Where are you based? What are you doing? Just a short overview, please. Okay. And then we dive into your projects. Sure. Altamira Gold's in Brazil. Mm -hmm. We're in the central, central western part of Brazil, in the state of Mato Grosso and Pará. Mm -hmm. And we have 12 gold projects there, Jochen. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. So 12 exploration projects, right? Yeah, 12 exploration projects in different stages of uh, exploration. Mm -hmm. One of which has uh, a 43101 compliable resource of mm -hmm. about half a million ounces. Okay, but that's that's nice to have already. Yeah, perfect. And I think you are in a in a gold belt, right? Yeah, we're in a gold yeah. belt. It's a belt called the Jorwena Gold Belt. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the northern part of the state of Mato Grosso mm -hmm. uh, and has been worked um, since the early '80s by local artisanal miners. The Garimperos, right? Yeah, the Garimperos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the '80s and '90s, it was an area which was difficult to get into for mm -hmm. a company. Yeah. And historically, seven to ten million ounces have been worked from the alluvial uh, gold there in the area. Wow. Okay, so there must be a lot of left. Well, it's also a very good <laughs> geochemical indicator. Yeah. So the reason that we're in the area and the reason we've selected the areas that we're in is because uh, a large amount of gold was taken out and the primary source is still there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you still have Garimperos there or are they completely diminished? Uh, there are in some of the areas, there are a mm -hmm. few people still working, but mm -hmm. they're generally the landowners now and they work in conjunction with the company. So there's ah. very, very few Garin Perez in the area now. Okay, so we have no stress because we heard uh, in, the f in former years there were sometimes some funny stories with Garin Perez, so, but you have no problems, right? No stress and they're all Super. friends of the family. That's very important. Very mm -hmm. good. Great. So what is uh, yeah, the plan for 2018? What do you want to do with your properties? Well, we've been drilling in 2017 and we've mm -hmm. de defined some new zones, mm -hmm. uh, which are very important for us to build the resource in our uh, property of Cajuero. Mm -hmm. And we will be trenching and drilling and building the resource to over a million ounces in 2018. We'll also be drilling a new, uh, a new one of our projects called Apia Cas, mm -hmm. where there's some very high gold values on surface, mm -hmm. shear zones that will be opening up uh, trenching and drilling in the early part of 2018 and also we'll be starting a new phase of our exploration which is to look for copper mm -hmm. in the belt. Ah, interesting. So copper okay. has become important because we've realized that other companies have moved in recently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there is a new discovery in the eastern part of the belt mm -hmm. of a porphyry copper. Oh, so. that's a, oh, interesting. Great. Can you say some, something about the grades you have so far? Uh, the grades in the new area that we've been looking at, we've, got, we've found a zone of breccia mm -hmm. where the grades run from uh, anywhere from four to seven grams. We've mm -hmm. trenched, uh, we've got a trench in there which is actually uh, uh, seven meters of 21 grams. Mm -hmm. But uh, generally in the drill holes, the, the grades are what we're talking about, four, five, six grams. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. How deep have you drilled so far normally? The vertical depth is about mm -hmm. 70 meters. But oh, we need... That's we need, shallow. Yeah, it is. And oh. we need to go down now mm -hmm. and build that resource up. So we believe that very, very rapidly we'll push this grade, our, grade, our initial grade of the half a million ounces up. Mm -hmm. And we will uh, easily go over to uh, one, one and a half million ounces on the central part of the area. Okay, perfect. Um, before we come, uh, let's say, uh, to, to some company data, um, when you are drilling, it costs a lot of money. What is in the bank? Well, in the bank, we've got right now about $200,000, but mm -hmm. we're just closing a private placement ah, okay. next week yeah. for another $2 million. Okay, because with 200000 you cannot do anything, No, right? no, that's, that's right. That's impossible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're doing well. We've yeah. got uh, the private placement al almost closed. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, it'll be around about that sort of order. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, that sounds good. So the work program for next year is then finance, right? Yep, it's all financed. Yeah. yeah, we have a small group of uh, professional people, all Brazilian, mm -hmm. working uh, in the area. Uh, geologists who we've trained and, and kept in the co in the company over the years, mm -hmm. and we'll push this ahead. Okay, great. Um, last question: um, As I mean, Brazil, you always think about jungle, about Amazonas, yeah. So, what is the infrastructure there? Can you get easily to your properties, meaning have your roads, do you have power access, stuff like that? 
Okay, it's a good question. Um, 40 years ago, it was all jungle. Mm -hmm. And then, coincidentally, the uh, Brazilian government decided to open up new towns in the area. So Alta Floresta, which is about 100 kilometers away from Cajueiro, mm -hmm. is a town of about 150,000 people with all the conveniences necessary for an exploration team. Mm -hmm. And it takes us one hour, 20 minutes to drive to Cajueiro. Super. There's from the Cajueiro project to a huge hydroelectric dam. It's 22 kilometers. So by the middle of next year, we'll have a power line running through our property. Oh, fantastic. That sounds great. So then we keep fingers crossed for your drilling. Next year, you have the money in the bank. So let it drill and show us some good results. Okay, fantastic, <laughs> Johan. Thanks. Thank you very much. Andrew, thank you thank very much. You. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Michael Bennett, the CEO of Altamira Gold. Working in Brazil, you heard it, 12 properties they have. And uh, so far, 500,000 uh, ounces of gold in a 43 uh, 101 a resource. Already they are drilling out this next year and want to go up to approximately 1.5 million ounces. Infrastructures there, that's very important when you are working in in the middle of Brazil, I would call it almost. And uh, so everything is uh, there, a solid basis yeah, for hopefully success in the future. Check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from London.